हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक ए एल वी बाय सी एल अंडर स्कोर एस ए एल वी अंडर स्कोर टेबल क्लास एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड दिस क्लास इज ए पार्ट ऑफ ए एल वी ऑब्जेक्ट मॉडल एंड व्हाई वी हैव ए एल वी ऑब्जेक्ट मॉडल बिकॉज एस ए पी वॉन्ट्स टू कंबाइन ऑल दो टूल्स and so that we have a single point of entry that's why we have a alv object model now after that we covered also in cl underscore salv underscore table sap combined all the tools which are related to table display of alv reuse alv list display reuse alv grid display cl gui alv grid so all these tools are combined into one class that is cl underscore s a l v underscore table now we will start with the creation of the table using cl underscore s a l v underscore table so what are the steps for the same if you remember in the previous videos or i'll say in the previous tools you are always creating the field catalog then you are binding the data with the field catalog so the main main advantage of this clsalv table is there is no need to create field catalog at all in the previous video i told you once the practical will start you will see how easy is to create a alv using this particular class which is a part of alv object model how easy is to create alv using the particular classes which are the part of alv object model so what are the steps whenever we want to create a alv through cl s a l v underscore table we will simply simply call the factory method there is a method into this particular class whenever we will call this method we will get the instance you all know what is instance instance is the object what is object a object is an instance of the class so whenever we will call the factory method of this particular class we will get a object of this particular class whenever we will get the object of the class we will simply call the display method to display the alv in every interview we always ask this question what is the use of factory method so simple answer is you always get a instance or you always get a object of the class through factory method only once you get the object after that you can simply simply call the display method through this so you can simply call the display method to display the alv very easy once the practical will start you will get the more more clarity so we will always go for two steps we will call the factory method so that we will get a object of this particular class or you can say instance of the particular instance of this particular class once we have the object or the instance we will simply use the display method to display the alv and now we will start with practical part same to same example we will take the example of vbak and vbap table and we will display the alv so what i will do i will firstly open the program in that program we use this set table for first display method if you do not have this program in the same playlist you can refer the videos how to create a alv using cl gui alv grid class because anyways logic part is same to same you are fetching data from vbak table vbap table then you are combining the data of two internal table into one internal table 
logic part is totally totally same only the display part is changing now we are we will not create field catalog we will not use this particular set table for first display if you are going for traditional alv we will not create field catalog we will not go for reuse alv list display or grid display we will simply simply go for factory method and display method of this particular class and yes data fetching logic is same to same that's why i am copying from the previous program or it's totally your wish you can take any any table and you can simply fetch that data you can take single table you can take multiple table it's totally your wish so just take a example in which you have data in the internal table rest part yes the steps we will cover so i will go for sc38 transaction code i will give some name to the program you all know every program starts with z or y suppose i will say z p r g a l v suppose i will say by s a l v a l v by s a l v or we will simply say factory map so that people can understand because there is a lots of demand regarding factory method we want to display the alv regarding with the help of factory method so i will write z p r g 1 underscore alv underscore factory i will go for create i will give the title suppose al to display the sales order details i will go for the type as executable program sorry i took as include i'll change i will save it as a local object i will activate the program now data fetching logic is same to same because based upon the requirement you need to fetch the data from the tables so i will take the data fetching logic from the previous program you can take the program from traditional alv playlist also it's totally your wish so i will simply take the declarations first structure for vbak internal table work area structure for vbap internal table work area structure for final internal table work area i will take a input select option now we will simply select the queries and we will merge the data of two internal tables into one internal table so our data is in lt underscore final internal table now we need to display this data in the form of alv using the class cl underscore salv underscore table now there is no need to create the field catalog previously we are creating the field catalog then we are binding this data with field catalog now we will not do anything we we'll simply call two methods factory method and display method and we will display this particular data so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we started with how how we can display that data in the form of alv table i am using the word alv table using the class cl underscore s a l v underscore table first step you need to call the factory method to get a object or instance 
Once you have the instance, you can simply call the display method to display the ALV. So as a part of that, we started with the program and we simply copy pasted the logic from the already available program. We took the example of VBAK, VBAP. You can took any table or if you want to go for same to same example in the same playlist, go for CL, GUI, ALV grid class videos and just create up to this particular level. In the next video, we will use factory method and display method to display the ALV. So that's it in this video. Thank you.